welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something a little bit different because it is the reading rush. You may have seen my video from last week where I talked about the books that I'm going to be reading and today is the first day of it and I'm going to be doing a reading vlog. Never done a reading vlog before. We'll see how this goes. So today is Thursday the 16th of April. It is 10 past 12. This morning I did some exercise and then I FaceTimed my parents and then I had to go to the supermarket and do a big shop and so haven't had a chance to actually sit down and do any reading yet. So the reading rush challenges are read a book with a house on the cover, that's Saturday, Ian McEwan, read a book in the same place every time. This right here is my current reading spot because the sun shines through and I can keep my legs nice and warm. So this is the room that I will be reading in, but like specifically this spot. And m read a book that will make you smile. I'm sure that Tilly and the Book Wanderers will do that for me. And read a book set in a place that you want to go visit. Tilly does book wandering and goes into lots of different books. And so I want to visit book worlds. So yeah, I think I want to start with Saturday because I feel like that one will be more difficult to get into than Pages and Co. So start with the harder one. <laughs> so I'm not like struggling for motivation like later. I'm still not convinced I'm gonna be able to read two books in four days. We'll see. Cause I do have a few of the little bits and bobs that I need to be doing. For instance, I'm not gonna start reading right now. I'm gonna do about an hour of work, eat some lunch and then get to reading. Let's do this. <laughs> Work took a bit longer than expected, but I've finished that. I've finished my lunch and it's now time to get a reading. It is 1.45 p.m. I have to make a YouTube video live at 4 p.m. So I'm gonna give myself two hours and 15 minutes to read, 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 read. And we'll see how far we get through Saturday by Ian McEwan. Reading spot, sun's out. Awesome, day one, let's do this. pages in and my bra has come off because I just need to be comfortable. I've acquired some snacks that were in the fridge from my Easter egg and I'm struggling to stay awake. This is an issue that I have sometimes when I'm reading at home in the middle of the day. I just fall asleep, especially if a book isn't like super action packed or there's no dialogue and so far it's been 22 pages of this man thinking about his last week at work. I'm not not enjoying it but I'm just like I'm like come on come on. There is a plane crash happening but he's like witnessing it from afar and the way he's thinking about it is it's just mostly him thinking about it there's like you're not in the action and it's so much of him thinking about it that I'm not even sure if the plane crash is actually real. <laughs> That's where I'm at. But yeah, I'm 22 pages in and I've got just over an hour left until I need to do a bit more work. And I realized that if I'm gonna do a book in two days, because I think Pages and Co, even though it's a longer book, it won't take me as long. And this book is 275 pages long. I really want to have read 100 pages today. We shall see. o'clock so I need to do some YouTube stuff and a bit of work but I am currently 46 pages in. I'm getting much more into it now. The main character is a neurosurgeon and there's been a few descriptions of surgeries and I love it but I also am squeamish. Um, I really like it. Still waiting on a, like a little bit more action to the actual plot of the book and not all of this like remembering how him and his wife first met, which is a bit weird. She was a patient and was having brain surgery and he saw her passed out body and was like, I'm falling in love with you. 
what? Okay, right, gotta do some work now. So Dan came home, I got a little bit more reading done. We ate dinner, now I have wine and I'm about to do the Reading Rush Insta Live reading. So that's happening now. And then I actually have a Patreon live stream after that. So not a huge amount of reading is probably gonna get done this evening, uh, but we shall see. Cheers. Hello. Hello, welcome to the first Reading Rush reading in Live. Welcome to everyone who is joining. Just gonna have a chat for a bit whilst people arrive finished the reading rush insta live and also finished my patreon live stream and now i'm gonna go to bed even though it's 9 p.m but i'm gonna wow. <laughs> yeah wow well i'm gonna read dan but i'm gonna read pages and co because saturday is gonna be my book that i do the challenge of only reading in one room so i started reading that in the living room so i've got to stick with that whereas pages and co we're gonna flip flop so i'm gonna start that tonight in bed Are you gonna come to bed absolutely <laughs> oh also the bedroom for me is a no phone zone dan has his devices in the bedroom but i don't have any of my devices in the bedroom so this is good night i will update you on my readings in the morning hello it is friday the 17th of april and day two of the reading rush do let me know if you are into reading vlogs and if you'd like to see more of them and of course don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. It is 1.35 p.m. I got up this morning, did some exercise, did some dancing, and then I got ready, ate breakfast, and had a call with my assistant, was reviewing a video that my editor sent me, and then just doing some other work, scheduling some podcast recordings, and it all just took longer than I expected. Just had lunch with Dan. Pizza Friday. Anyone else? Just me. And now, finally, we're getting to reading. Last night, I ended up passing out about 10.30 p.m. because I am an adult. But I read 63 pages of Pages and Co. And that book is just under 400 pages, but each page, the lettering is really big. So I'm going to get through that one way quicker. But this afternoon, I'm going to focus on reading more of Saturday. But I'm pretty much done with work for the week. I'll probably log into my email again before the end of the day in case there's anything that I need to do before the end of the week. But other than that, I've done all of that, my main gritty stuff. So I'll be able to focus on reading pretty much all afternoon and evening. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how my brain can cope with that much reading. But yes, day two, let's go. bra has come off again. I can't possibly be comfortable and read whilst wearing a bra. It's just impossible. I'm at page 106 now. I was getting really distracted and just kept on checking my phone and doing things on my phone. And also, I feel like if I wasn't doing the reading rush right now, I would have given up on this book. I know lots of people really love it, but I'm a plot gal. And it was like page 80 by the time this minor car incident happens, which is the thing that's written in the blurb as like the beginning event. And this minor car incident happened. And then it was like five pages later until the main character and the other dude in the car even said words to each other because it was just pure description and thoughts. And I struggle with that. And now I'm just like three pages deep into the description of a squash match and I don't know how squash works. So not gonna lie, this book is frustrating me. Also, the author mostly refers to the main character by his surname, which I can't pronounce. And it just feels so formal. It's like, just call him Henry. Is his name even Henry? Yes, his name is Henry. Just call him Henry. Why do you have to keep on using his surname? It just feels so distanced. And I do not care about this character at all. Right, it is almost four o'clock now. So like I said, I'm going to log back in, do some work, maybe for the next hour. I think I'll smash it out in an hour, what I've got to do. And Dan is cooking dinner tonight. And so more reading, eating, reading, eating, reading, eating, 
reading, sleeping. What a great day. All right, work for the week is done. And so now I'm gonna continue reading. I really hope this book gets better. Can you hear Dan? He's very loud and on the phone to his co-workers. It's dinner time. Mm -hmm. What have you made? I don't know. <laughs> Dan has put together some kind of lamb stew thing with potatoes. Looks delicious. Thank you, Dan. You are welcome. Nom, nom, nom. Dinner has been had. That noise in the background is the dishwasher going. Dan is playing video games all evening and your girl is reading. So I'm 132 pages into Saturday. I think I just want to read another eight pages to get to 140, which means I'll have done 70 on both days. And if I do another 70 tomorrow and on Sunday, then I'll have read the entire book, nailed it. And then I'll just absolutely destroy Pages & Co because that one is gonna be a much quicker read. So eight more pages of this right now and then a bit of Pages & Co. And then I think I also just wanna chill out and watch some YouTube videos. So that's my evening. Good evening. It is almost 9.30 p.m. and I'm feeling all booked out. So I'm just gonna chill out, watch some YouTube videos and I might continue reading Pages & Co. when I go to bed later. I am 160 pages in. Feeling good about this one. And I'm 140 pages into Saturday. So we're making progress. Good morning. It is Saturday. I have no idea what time it is. 10 o'clock-ish, 10 a.m. I got up at about nine and then just read more of Pages & Co in bed in the morning. I didn't read any more last night um, because Dan and I just stayed up talking and then I fell asleep. But I am now 208 pages into Pages & Co, which feels really good. And I think I'm just gonna crack on with reading Saturday after I eat some breakfast. I have a few other things I want to do this weekend. Obviously, I want to get out for a walk today because I didn't leave the house yesterday. And if I do that too many days in a row, then um, I don't feel so good. So I want to do my Pilates exercises and go for a walk. I also, at some point this weekend, want to make flapjacks and paint my nails. Also woke up this morning to some spots on my nose, which I picked because I'm only human. Right, breakfast time. Oh, also Dan is not a morning person, but I shall be making him breakfast and then maybe he'll wake up. <laughs> Hello, so it is 12.30 and I am 168 pages in. So we've got a bit of reading done so far. Now I'm gonna put some clothes on, go for a walk, do some exercise, shower and continue reading. For me on weekends, the thing that decides if I spend all morning in my pajamas and shower in the afternoon or shower in the morning is if it is a stoma bag changing day. Today is not a stoma bag changing day um, and the reason for that being is that as soon as I eat breakfast my stoma basically like wakes up and becomes really really active and ideally you want to be changing the bag after a shower and without the stoma being really active so it's as clean as possible. You don't want it to be like and spurting shit everywhere whilst you're trying to change your bag. So today is not a stoma bag changing day, hence why I've already eaten breakfast and not showered yet. Whereas tomorrow I will do all of my exercise stuff in the morning, shower, change bag, and then eat breakfast. My body is just in charge of how I spend my mornings. I usually only spend one morning a week like this because 
if it's during the week and I'm working, then I just shower in the morning before I eat. Um, but on the weekends, I give myself one day where I can lounge around in my pajamas and dressing gown before I shower. I should really shower. <laughs> Okay, it is almost 2.30, back to reading. A lesson that I've learned from the past two days is that I can't possibly try and be comfortable on the sofa reading whilst wearing a bra. So, no bra today. Also that noise in the background. Is the washing machine. Need clean clothes. <laughs> I have finally got into Saturday. The second half is definitely better, pacier, like, reading a whole bit just like mm, like I'm very tense very much enjoyed it um not finished yet got one section left one chapter left one part I don't even know I'm on page 237 so I think I'm gonna leave the final section of this for tomorrow and it's only 5 30 so I'm making dinner tonight so I'm gonna start on that and then I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening reading Pages & Co. I don't even think I'm gonna to need to read that much of it this evening. So maybe I'll do something else, like watch a film. I don't know. I just realized that tomorrow afternoon I have a Zoom call with my friends from uni. So I'm not gonna have the full afternoon to read. So I'm glad I got lots done too day but we'll see i'm actually feeling pretty confident about finishing these books oh my god so i'm at page 237 out of 279 so 42 pages left of saturday easy easy can do that tomorrow and then pages and co i'm at page 208 out of 384 so a bit further to go but these pages as you can see very big writing so we fine we fine and i'm hungry and i'm gonna make dinner mm, mm. good morning it is sunday and day four the final day of the stay home reading rush you are currently balanced on all of my cushions <laughs> So that's fun. Please don't fall over. So after dinner last night, I basically just watched some YouTube videos and then Dan and I watched Ant-Man. But then when I went to bed, I did read some more of Pages & Co and I got to page 267. So by the end of yesterday, I was at page 237 of Saturday and page 267 of Pages & Co. And then I woke up this morning and did a little bit of reading in bed. And I'm now at page 303. Home stretch, let's do this. I have about 40 pages left of Saturday and I'm gonna tackle that first, I think. I'm just gonna read until I get a bit hungrier and then I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and then I'm gonna basically read until I finish this and then go for a walk because, ugh, it's so sunny today and I want to get outside and get my steps in and then when I get back from said walk we are going to finish the final 100 pages of this less than 100 pages it's gonna be easy I am really enjoying this book there's been some twists that I didn't expect and I couldn't predict and it's very exciting and very magical and I just I love the the world that it's building oh juicy juicy and I'm not sure what the last section of this is really going to be I kind of feel like it's one of these books where there'll be some sort of metaphor there'll be some sort of lesson learned I don't know what that's going to be <laughs> but I feel like the main drama in this book is over and we're now into like the final act of the resolution and and stuff but maybe I'll be wrong who knows I'm feeling pretty confident about finishing these today wish me luck <laughs>
da, 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 da. I finished Saturday. I don't know what to say about it other than it was fine. <laughs> it's just one of those books that just isn't for me. I didn't get it, but I enjoyed the plot where there was plot and I enjoyed the descriptions of brain surgery. It is 11.35. It's still the morning. It's still the morning and it is beautiful outside. Can you see it? Can you see it? So I'm going to go for a walk and then I shall read Pages & Co when I come back. I'm not worried about finishing this because it is a very quick read and I've got less than 100 pages left. And even if I don't finish it this afternoon, I'll finish it when I go to bed later, so. What? Look at me, doing the reading rush. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. back from my walk which was great the sun was shining and I listened to some podcasts so that just felt really good and then I got back and made some Oreo milkshakes for me and Dan and ate lunch we had some pizza and it is now 1 30 p.m can I finish pages and co before four hmm we shall see I also realized that there are two other things that I said I wanted to do this weekend which I haven't done yet, which is paint my nails and make flapjacks. So if I do finish Pages & Co before four, then maybe that'll be an evening activity. We shall see. All right, back to reading. Guess what? I finished, I finished, and it is only 20 to three. Oh, I adored this. This was so good. And obviously left with a little bit of a cliffhanger because it is a series. I believe the second book is actually already out and there is a third coming soon, I'm not sure. But yeah, oh my God, I did that faster than I thought I was going to. This has been the Stay Home Reading Rush. The four challenges were, read a book with the house on the cover, boom. Read the entire book in the same room. I read this book on this sofa, just in this room. Read a book that'll make you smile. This made me smile. And read a book set somewhere that you want to go and visit. And inside all of these books, I didn't realize that one of the books that's heavily featured in this is A Little Princess. I adored A Little Princess when I was younger and read that book. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So thank you so much for watching my first reading vlog. Please let me know if you took part in the Stay Home Reading Rush and what books that you read in the comments. Have you read either of these books? What did you think of them? If you really, really love Saturday, I'd be really interested to hear about that different experience to me. I now have the rest of the day to paint my nails and make flapjacks and speak to some of my friends. So looking forward to that. If you'd like to hear more from me and learn more about the behind the scenes, um, more resources and stuff about what I do and maybe even join the Common Room community, I'll leave in the description my Patreon and also my newsletter, which is free to join. And I'll be straight in your inbox with updates and musings and all sorts of little bits. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!